coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily Hi, my name is Craig Thompson Wood. I'm the board game teacher. Thanks for coming to my self-quarantine here in my games room. I hope everybody out there is keeping safe and doing what you can to self-isolate, even self-quarantine as I myself have done. And to give some people fun things to do, uh, reminding you of some of the fun things you can do with board games that are educational, I thought I would do something today with you know, some of the City of Zombies series from Matthew Tidbury. In fact, I was talking to Matthew and he kindly gave me permission to do this with and uh, post this online. So what I'll be doing from here on in, every day I'll be posting something with some zombies from Times Square and uh, some dice and asking you can you figure out how to use those dice to uh, beat the zombies that are shown. So it's a fun little way to do that and uh, if you're not familiar with the game City of Zombies right after this I'm going to be showing an instruction video on how to manipulate the dice in order to get the numbers of the zombies. So if you just want to skip ahead to that part the num the this timestamp is at the bottom of the screen. It's been at the bottom of the screen since the beginning for anybody who's here just for the instructions. But if you're looking to get this game, I know Level Up Games is still open for online business and they can send it to you or I, do, I think delivery is still possible, but you can always look them up too for Level Up Games for Times Square or the, the bigger one, the board game version, City of Zombies. So please play along with us as we do Times Square. So let me show you how it's played. So in City of Zombies on Times Square, what you're looking to do is you're looking to defeat the zombies and the zombies are defeated by matching these dice rolls to these numbers. Now, that doesn't mean that you can take a 36 and go 3 and 6. Uh, what you need to do is you need to be doing mathematical equations to solve that. So you need to be multiplying, adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing the numbers in some way or combination in order to match the zombies. Now, in City of Zombies, the board game, you have the three six-sided dice. In Times Squared, you also use the 12-sided dice. So because this is the Times Square game with the Times Square Zombies, I'm going to be using the four dice to do so. Now the important thing to remember is you must use all the dice. If you don't use all the dice, then you don't take out any of the zombies. And typically you're looking to get one zombie, two if you're lucky, or if you're really, really lucky, all three. Um, look at the numbers here. Um, no, it's not going to be possible to get all three zombies with the roll, but let's see what we can do. So I'm going to roll the dice here, and I've got 5, 1, 1, and 11. Oh, so as I said, add, subtract, Multiply, divide, you can also square the numbers. So I can also always square 11 into 121. I can always square the 5 into 25. 1 squared is 1, but you can even square the sum of numbers. So if I did 1 plus 1 is 2, square that for 4. So looking at what I have here, um, I could do 11 minus 1 is 10, times 5 is 50. What do I do with the 1 then? Well, I minus 1 again. So that's, and that's how that's going to go then. So then I could use these dice to get that one. Uh, alternately, I could say uh, five plus one is six. Six squared is 36. But then I don't do anything with the 11 and the one. So that's no good to me because I need to make sure I'm using all the dice. Um, 11 squared, 121, 120 minus, no, no. So I really, I think that's my only option then was to do the, um, 11 minus 1 is 10 times 5 times 1. You see then how you can use the dice in these different combinations to, to make a number like that. Let me let me show you another example. Okay, so 1, 4, 1, 3. Um, uh, let's see, so I've got 12 times 4 is 48. 11 plus 1 is 12 times 4 is 48, but then I'm not doing anything with the 3. Uh, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. But then again, I'm not doing anything 11 and the 1. Uh, 1 plus 4 is 5. That's 33. Um, oh, there you go. 11 times 3 is 33. 4 squared is 16. 33 plus 16 is 49. Minus 1, 48. So you see how you use these numbers in all kinds of different ways. And this is the beauty of this system is that it manipulates the dice in so many different ways. There's not just one correct answer. There's multiple ways to come up with these things to uh, figure out how you're going to defeat these zombies. And you know, other people may see different ways as well. So let me get to it then. And what I'll do is I'll put out uh, some fresh zombies and let you have a go at it. 
So if you have an answer, please just write it in the comments section below, whether you're seeing this on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or wherever you're seeing it, please play along, just add in there what you've seen and describe how you're using all the dice. And remember, you have to use all the dice. So here they come. Okay, we have a 64, a 66, and a 14. And I feel I should mention too, that on here you have a what's called a targeting wheel, which is very handy. So it has an eight, that's the only number here. That's because eight times eight is 64. Whereas here, 66, you have 11 times six is 66, and seven times two is 14. It just helps you with the multiplication facts if you're looking for multiplications. All right, so let's see what we can do. Roll these up. And there's your numbers, two fives, a one and a six. What can you do with those numbers to beat any of these zombies? I can see one answer. I can see two answers. You know, I can get two different zombies here with these. Um, I can see I can get this one, I can get this one, but I can't see this one. So if you can get that one, great. That's great for you. So let's uh, you, you tell me how you see it. And I look forward to hearing your answers. Until tomorrow, have fun slaying these zombies. Are you coming back to school?